Good afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's time for another tropical forecast, tropical update. Of course, we are still in our 2023 hurricane season. Even though things have been quiet here so far, you still can't let your guard down because we could still have a little action in the Gulf. And we also still have another tropical storm out there. So I'm going to track that and let you know where that one is headed. So let's get right to it. As far as where we are in our hurricane season, well, of course, we are in the last few months. We started back in the spring. Of course, we got through the busiest part of the season, which typically is right around September, the month of September, September 10th, the actual peak of hurricane season. But we've made it through September without getting hit with any tropical systems. And now we are into the first week of October where we still could get pretty active at least for the next couple of weeks before things typically start to fall off and become less active. So nothing heading our way just now, but there are some signs, some models are indicating that maybe there could be a little something developing in the Gulf along a cold front by next week. So we'll have to watch that. But at this point, chances are fairly low and we are not anticipating anything too major heading our way. However, we do have a system that has already developed out there and this is tropical storm Philippe. It is still in the western Atlantic and it is getting pretty close to Bermuda. You can see it north of Puerto Rico, north and east of the Dominican Republic, east of the Turks and Caicos, and it will continue to push north. Movement right now north at 14 miles per hour. It's getting close to Bermuda where we do have tropical storm warnings. That pressure at 1,005 millibars and maximum sustained winds right at 50 miles per hour. So let's move up to the north. You can see Bermuda right here. I think by 1 p.m. Friday, Philippe, which will likely still be a tropical storm, a 50 mile per hour tropical storm likely, will likely be sitting right over Bermuda by early Friday afternoon or very close to Bermuda, likely just to the west. So we are going to have that potential for some of those tropical storm force winds, maybe maximum sustained winds around 50 miles per hour, gust up to 60, 65 miles per hour, maybe a few severe storms that could produce tornadoes. Of course, those large swells and maybe two to four inches of rain falling from the impacts of this tropical system rolling very close to the island of Bermuda. Then as we progress through the rest of the week, Saturday afternoon, it looks like Philippe will be moving into those cooler waters as it pushes north. So it's going to kind of become more elongated. It will also be impacted by a front heading its way. So it's going to start to lose some of those tropical characteristics, but it's still going to pack a punch. It's still going to have winds around 60 miles per hour by Saturday afternoon. So even though it is expected to become a post tropical system, it's still going to have a lot of wind and the threat for some heavy rain that could produce a little flooding. Also notice the track of Philippe as we go into Saturday evening, Saturday night and Sunday. It starts to push a little bit to the north and west and it likely will be clipping portions of northern New England. At this point, that cone of uncertainty kind of looking like it is going to head towards portions of central and eastern Maine and maybe western sections of Nova Scotia. So that could be a U.S. landfall from Philippe or post-tropical Philippe at that point as we go into Saturday night through early Sunday. So then it's going to push off to the north and west, likely over towards Quebec. So some Canadian impacts as well, but one to three inches of rain can't be ruled out for parts of the northeast U.S., not just for Maine, but maybe stretching back towards Boston, parts of New York, city so there could definitely be some impacts from Philippe with that heavy rain and a gusty wind. We don't have to worry about Philippe. It is heading away from us, but we are still looking closely at the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico and the rest of the Atlantic to see if we do have the potential for any additional development. Of course, we do have our one tropical storm Philippe that we are tracking. And at this point, most of the models are taking it off to the north. Like I said, it is going to move over Bermuda tonight into tomorrow and then likely impacting parts of northern New England and Canada by this weekend. So you can see most of those models taking it very close to Bangor, Maine, and then pushing it up into Quebec as we go through the weekend. So even though Philippe is not a very powerful system, it is still going to have some impacts. Our European model basically agreeing with all of those other models. It is heading north. It's going to roll over Bermuda 
Bermuda or very close to it and then head to the northeastern U.S. So that is what is happening with Philippe. No impacts expected here. But like I said, we are closely monitoring what else is going on out there in the Atlantic, potentially the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean. The Caribbean and the Gulf are quiet for now, but the National Hurricane Center continues to monitor another area of potential development. We are expecting another one of those tropical waves to roll off of the west coast of Africa this weekend, and it has a, at least a low shot to develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next seven days. The chance for that happening through the next 48 hours, slim to none. But the chance for that happening over the next seven days, all the way up to 30%. That's still in the low category, but we could still have another system forming out there in the Atlantic, the Eastern Atlantic, over the next week. That would likely track off to the west northwest, and that would also put us up to about 19 named storms. So it has already been a pretty busy season, and that means it would be even more active. So, so far this season, 18 named storms, six hurricanes, three major hurricanes. That's right at or just above average for the majority of those categories. So we have already had a pretty busy season, even though none of those systems have come our way, but we've gone through several of these names. And if that system in the Eastern Atlantic were to get going over the next week, guess what? We would have another name system and that name would be Sean. That is the next name on the list. Then we'd have Tammy, Vince, and Whitney. So only three additional names after that. Then we would be finished with our complete list of tropical cyclone names for this season. So that gives you an idea of just how active it's been, even though none of those systems have come our way. So as I've been mentioning, the Gulf is quiet for now, but we actually have that cold front that brought us all of that rain in Houston this morning, pushing into the Gulf of Mexico over the next few days and it's going to hang out there and the models are indicating there's a low chance we could have maybe a little low to spin up right along that front and it could potentially become a little tropical low and of course if that were to happen that could start to pump up a decent amount of moisture our way it doesn't look like we're going to have any sort of tropical system making landfall here just yet but with these super warm waters out in the gulf of mexico 80s to low 90s we certainly can't rule it out that's why we keep telling you don't let your guard down because we still have the potential to get some development in the gulf and this time of the year a lot of that development usually takes place right along frontal boundaries and that's exactly what we will have out there in the gulf over the next few days so we're watching it closely but nothing to be too concerned about just yet the water temperatures though are still super warm it's like bath water out there we've got tips well into the 80s all across the caribbean and the atlantic and that will be the case at least for the next couple of weeks that's why we've got to be on guard make sure you have a plan in place make sure ready to go just in case we do get a tropical system heading our way. For now, it's all good. Nothing coming to Southeast Texas, likely at least through the weekend, but of course we'll be monitoring things for next week. Keep track of all of your tropical weather and your local weather as well by heading to the App Store, search for Fox 26, and make sure to grab and download our Fox 26 weather app. Lots of cool features for you to find on there. You can find our weather videos, and of course, if there's anything tropical related headed our way, you can find any alerts related to that as well right on our Fox 26 weather app. That is your tropical forecast update for this afternoon. Of course, we'll continue to do this every single afternoon throughout the remainder of your hurricane season. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.